Welcome to the Cloud Rent demonstration. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to be focusing uh, mainly on the temporary fencing sector. So logging into the software, this is the dashboard. We can go through to our clients, our inventory, um, and clicking into it, an inventory item. We can see photographs of the inventory item, um, the different items that we'd actually put in the kit with every uh, camera we want the lens kit to go out the rechargeable battery i'm just going to go to the temporary fencing inventory so that we can have a look at that and if we can see in here so we can see our panel we can create marketing brochures that's why we put some graphics in there if we want to send some stuff out uh, under rates and kits we've got our prices weekly and monthly we've also ticked at the back end that we want to charge by the meter and above here is uh, the items so part of the kit so we can put as many feet that would go with each panel and and you know how many clamps would actually go through with each panel if you sell anything there's a point of sale section to create a new rental uh, the calendars the calendars are nice it'll just show you all your jobs these jobs can be filtered so you can say show me everything all the quotes for the current month pull up any type of status we've got a horizon view so you could see your jobs 20 weeks out and everything's drag and droppable so you can just drag and move them around and clicking into a job just brings up that job the buttons at the top back and forward so you have a daily calendar also a resource calendar now the resource calendar allows you to drag and drop your items onto vehicles so I could just put this back I want this to go to um, the combi all right I'm just going to go back to the dashboard there's a financial section and that basically would just show you you know, where your invoices are 0 to 14 days 15 to 30 you know etc and I'll come back there in a little while I want to show you through the long-term rental process as well so we'll certainly come back to that uh, and this is the freight so the freight just will show you everything that needs to be delivered today and then we can assign um, you know, drivers and vehicles and give them priorities and then we can just print off that delivery run sheet which is you can just see it's only got one job it's delivery for the combi just the details of it we can also give a proper worksheet to the boys which will you know, per job this would just be have their five jobs for the day or ten jobs or whatever so i won't save that just go back to the dashboard and the returns are just basically items that are coming back today now just going into the admin section there's a little button here that we turn on for temporary fencing for long-term rental just to say that we do reoccurring billing and there's a couple of little options there um, this set long-term initial period to the dates just means that I could start off with a three-month initial period and then after that three months are up I want it to go then to monthly now another thing that I like in this system is the email defaults so this if I email a booking contract what you put in here will go into the body of the email and this is for any quotes so if you email a quote what we can do is you can create these little merge fields so basically it's an end of rental email so it's telling us that the rental expires tomorrow and if you'd like us to pick it up or otherwise we're going to continue billing you or start billing you whatever you want to put in here and tick that box now just to give you a look at how that looks if I just pull up my email that's how it would look hi ryan your rental expires tomorrow we would like to pick it up and so those merge fields filled in by the server as you can see that's the collection address and the other area here is the rates monthly rate daily rate weekly rate you see you can put as many types of rates in as you need okay so i'm just going to go back to the dashboard and I'll create a new rental so we click the new rental section and it drags us into our customers so we can search for a customer or we can create a new customer and it has a, a lookup with Google places so once I start typing 
it'll actually pull it up and then I can select it just say it makes it quicker to add data I'm gonna cancel that and just give this job to rebel sports and I'm just gonna attach my customer so we've got a customer it's monthly it's one month but we want it actually for three months so we'll set the period to three months it's automatically turned on long-term rental but no parameters have been assigned yet if when we we're doing billing we could do pro rata jobs so um, you yeah, know bill from now to the end of the month if we turn that on that will start I'm going to set the parameters and if I have a look, what it's done is it's given me my first three months and the next bill due after we've created this bill would be the 17th of March. All right, so I can go through to our item list and now add our temporary fencing. Because I'd set the parameters that we, we bill in meters, not by the panel, which it's totally optional, we can just put in how many meters they need. So we've put 30 meters in. That puts in the 30 meters, 13 panels, so for our imagery tracking, for three months at $15 a month per meter. We could also add a delivery charge in here and a collection charge. And, you know, if you wanted to charge an insurance or you had some extra fee that you wanted to add, that can be set up in the admin and can be a percentage. It might be a credit card fee or whatever you'd like to put in there. Now we just go through to print an email and then we can actually email the contract. And that will just create this contract, 13 panels, temporary fence, 30 meters at $15 per meter. And that drops that contract into an email. And I can send that out. The other thing that's nice in here, we can type in um, special conditions if we have any, but we can also have stored documents like work safe documents that can also be sent as well so it's just that simple you come through and say I want that and that to go and whatever other documents you would have in the global store and you would just hit send and they will um, get attached to an email with the contract and sent off to your client I'm just going to go to the financials and create the invoice and that, so that's created that initial invoice from the 12th, 16th of the 12th till March. We can have a look at that. Yeah, the temporary fence for 30 meters for three months. That's the initial bill. And we can email that invoice off. And there's the tax invoice in the email. And we can take the payment. they're paying by a credit card or however they're paying and then we just apply that payment and now it's saying that because the payment has been taken do we want to set the job status to an active job paid we'll say yes that's fine and we'll record that we have a credit card payment so everything's basically paid now we're going to go through and post that invoice to zero so we'll go through to the financials and we'll just pull up today and so we can see through 351 it's been paid today and all we do have to do to post it is just to click that button now if you were gonna which is told us that that's all good if you're gonna post a lot of invoices you can actually then just hit the tick button and then hit process and it'll process all the invoices through to zero so if we now go through to zero, that was 351. I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. And we can see we've got two draft invoices. And there's 351 to Rebel Sport. And the temporary fence panel, 1485 for the bill. Now, while we're in this financial section, we have our long-term rentals. We've only got some rentals for next year, so I just want to demonstrate. It's that simple. You can pull up your date range of billing. So obviously, we'd be today or yesterday or whatever, but we'll do next year. And then you just tick them all and then just hit process invoices. It'll ask us, do we want to see each email before we send it? and we say don't and then we just email 
and now we can get a report. So that's the invoice report on what we just built. Everything has been moved through to the next period, which we can see. If we want to have a look at what's going on there, we just pull that up. And we can also go through to the job by clicking into the job. And we can see all the invoices. We can manually come through to here and then just process a new invoice. But it's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to log into the iPad. So I'm in the iPad and I'm going to pull up today's jobs. And we can see 351 down the bottom, which has been paid. Now the boys can go through to logistics and then when they deliver the items, they can change amounts if they use more temporary fencing or, but now we can actually see that the items have been set to out. Uh, and then they can come through to the document store and then get a signature. So the customer can sign the screen and they can accept that. What they can do then is when they come back to pick the gear up, if everything's good, they can actually return all the gear or they can click in and, and do some loss. But one of the nice things, they can go back to the document store and take some photos and that photo can show damage to the inventory items. And we'll just use that photo. So that photo gets stored and then what you can do, if I just um, go back to my job, you can actually then in the financials, create a damages invoice for the loss. Another nice feature, I'm just gonna go back to that job that we were on in the dashboard, which is Rebel Sport. We can send text messages through to their mobile phone. So we just click on the SMS button and we're just gonna send the booking confirmation, which we hit send. That message being sent, and you can hear it's just hit my phone. There's the message. I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. So that's the end of the demonstration. Please contact us on the details that follow if you'd like more information or walk through with one of our technicians. Thank you so much for watching.